Hello and welcome to the session. In this video, we will discuss on how we can apply SVD on a matrix. So SVD, as discussed in the last video, stands for Singular Value Decomposition, where the goal of SVD is to decompose a matrix A into three different forms, uh, U, Sigma and V transpose, where U will be a uh, M cross M orthogonal matrix, VT is also an orthogonal matrix and Sigma is a diagonal M cross N matrix. So we'll see how it can be done. So remember the goal of SVD is decomposing the matrix A into three different parts. The step one is you have to find A transpose A. So this is our original matrix A. You have 4, 0, 3, minus 5 in the, as the values of the matrix. So this is the A transpose where we have just transposed the, in, the rows with the columns that we are multiplying with the original matrix A. So when you multiply first row with first column, first row with second column, then second row with first column, second row with third second column. So this is the value you get. So this is A transpose A. The step two is you have to find the eigenvalues. To find the eigenvalues, we have been doing this in the previous two problems also, methods also, PCA and LDA. To find the eigenvalues, you need a characteristic equation. So that means for this matrix A transpose A, we are going to form a characteristic equation. That is A transpose A minus lambda I. A transpose A is this, minus lambda of I. I We have done this in the previous two videos, problems in LDA and PCA. So I is what? Identity matrix. In this case, I'll take an identity matrix of values 1, 0, 0, 1. So if you multiply with lambda, this is what you get. Right? A transpose A. Here, I'll subtract with lambda. This row, I'll subtract with lambda. The other two, I'll keep is at, as it is. So this is A transpose A minus lambda I. Any doubt, please write to me in the comment box. So determinant of this ma characteristic equation is this. Right? Equate that to 0. So you have to define the determinant. That means multiply this f entry with this entry minus this entry with this entry. So 25 minus lambda into 25 minus lambda minus minus 15 whole square equate it to 0. So this equation, this when you simplify, you get this equation. So how do you find the roots, root of this quadratic equation? We have done this before. Minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. That is one way. So where b is minus 50, a is 1, c is 400. So when you apply that equation, you'll get lambda is equal to 10, 40. Or you can do in the, this is, you can also do it in the traditional way of solving this quadratic equation. Then you get this, lambda minus 10 into lambda minus 40 is equal to 0. So basically after solving this quadratic equation, you get lambda as 10 and 40. This is nothing but your eigenvalue. Now step 3, you have to find the eigenvectors for these eigenvalues. So how do you find? Again, you have to consider the characteristic equation, A transpose A minus lambda I. Now what we do is, we will substitute the different values of lambda in different steps. So let's now do for the first value of lambda, that is 10. So take the characteristic equation, now take lambda as 10. The characteristic equation is what? This one. This is nothing but your A transpose A minus lambda I. The same thing you take it down. The only difference is now lambda, I have made it as 10. So 25 minus 10, the second entry is minus 15, this minus 15, this is 25 minus 10. I have just substituted in this matrix lambda is equal to 10. And this is what you get. So this is nothing but your A transpose A minus lambda 1 of I. Now, to find the eigenvector, what we have to do is we have the same steps. We have done in PCA, LDA, same thing. Just multiply this matrix with a matrix uh, vector matrix called as V. In this case, I will take the matrix as two rows, one column. So that because I have here a two cross two matrix. So basically this V vector will be a one column only always. So I'll take V1 in the first row, V2 as a second row. Now before multiplying this matrix with this matrix, what I will do is I will first simplify this matrix. See in this case kind of we will be able to do it faster but sometimes depending upon the problem this matrix can be a little complex having bigger numbers. So reduce this matrix to rho echelon form. What is rho echelon form I have given uh, explained in the last video. To keep it simple, row echelon form means a matrix is reduced to row echelon form if it satisfies three conditions, right? The three conditions are, I'll just quickly repeat, the three conditions are, you have to, uh, uh, the three conditions are, I'll just show that to you, uh, all the non-zero rows have to be 
uh, at the top of the matrix and zero rows have to be at the bottom of the matrix the second condition is the pivot what is pivot or the leading entry whenever you have a non zero row in your matrix the first entry is called as a pivot so that should be the right of the leading entry of the row about is basically you will have like a, like a staircase kind of values in your matrix and the third in, uh, condition is all entries below the leading entry should be a zero so in the sense what this matrix now I'm going to reduce it to a row echelon form this is a very simple matrix I, I will just make the second row as zero easily <coughs> and I will keep the first row as it is so this is the transformation which I do So this is the original matrix. Just make R2 is equal to R1 plus R2. You get the second row as zeros. And in the first row, now I am going to divide it by 15. So you get 1 minus 1. Now this is a row echelon form. How do you say? Because the zero rows are at the bottom of the matrix and non-zeros are at the beginning. In this case, I don't have a non-zero row. Therefore, it's a row echelon form. Now what we do is, I have reduced this matrix to a row echelon form. Just substitute that 1, minus 1, 0, 0 here. Multiply that with V1, V2. This is a row echelon matrix. Now multiply that V1, V2. Now you can see multiplying is so easy, right? So you get this. If I equate each row with 0, you get V1 minus V2 is equal to 0 or I get V1 is equal to V2. Let's assume V2 is equal to 1, therefore V1 is also e equal to 1, therefore you get V as 1, 1. Now what I have to do is I have to convert this to unit vector or I have to normalize this vector. We have done the same steps even in the previous videos of PCA and LDA, same thing. How do you normalize? Just divide each entry of this with the square root of the squares of the values that is 1 divided by root of 1 square plus 1 square for the second one 1 divided by root of 1 square plus 1 square so you get 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 this is nothing but v this is nothing but this v is nothing but the eigenvector which was my goal in this step now I found the eigenvector but this is for the eigenvalue 10 now repeat these things for eigenvalue 40 same way this is one eigenvector find the next eigenvector for lambda is equal to 40 how do you do a transpose a minus lambda i where i take lambda as 40 so 25 minus 40 minus 15 minus 15 25 minus 40 i get this now again i'm going to reduce to this to row echelon form row echelon form i get this 1 1 0 0 now multiply that with v1 v2 is equal to 0 now the multiplication is so easy the same steps v1 plus v2 is equal to 0 or v1 is equal to minus v2 if i take v2 is equal to 1 v1 is equal to minus 1 therefore you get v as minus 1 1 now normalize this again the same thing minus 1 divided by root of minus 1 square plus 1 square that is root of 2 so minus 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 so this is our second eigenvector for the eigenvalue 40 now combine these two this value and the this eigenvector right and put it into v so this is your first decomposition as I told you when we started SVD we need to have three uh, vec three matrices U, Sigma and V transpose this is nothing but the third one V but the thing is now this is V is nothing but your eigenvectors which put together this, are the, this is the eigenvector for lambda is equal to 40 this is the eigenvector for lambda is equal to 10 now you may ask which one should I take first always write the eigenvector you got for the largest eigenvalue Okay, the largest eigenvalue is 40 here. My, the other eigenvalue was 10. So this is an eigenvector for eigenvalue 40. Write that first. Minus 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2. This is an eigenvalue for lambda is equal to 10. Write that next. Now why we have to do that? We have done it in PCA. The lambda value with the I, highest lambda value will basically have the highest variance in the data. So that has a more significance. That is why take the eigenvalue which is highest put that first so this is an eigenvector for the highest eigenvalue 40 here this is an eigenvector for the next high uh, for the next eigenvalue that is 10 this is your first decomposition now let's form the other one as I said SVD you will have three V U and Sigma let's find Sigma now Sigma is very easy you don't have to worry Sigma is nothing but your diagonal matrix you already found eigenvalue our eigenvalue we got for 40 and 10 take the root of that 
okay root of 40 root of 10 that is nothing but your diagonal matrix this is your diagonal matrix right diagonal matrix take the other two values as zero the first you take the first largest eigen value here same way diagonal matrix always it has to be there is one rule diagonal ma diagonal matrix always has to be in the descending order so highest one should come first then the lowest one this is your second one so now you have got two matrices this is v is one sigma is one now coming to the last step you have to find u how do you find u very simple first find av right what is av a is nothing but your original matrix multiply that with v what what is v we just found this one okay this is this one right so multiply your original matrix a with v you will get av again you make it into a unit vector how do you make it into a vector again divide by root of the squares of the value but squares of which value squares of that column not the row okay so minus 4 by root 2 divided by root of minus 4 by root 2 square plus minus 8 by root 2 square again here 4 by root 2 divided by square root of 4 by root 2 square plus minus 2 root 2 2 2 by root 2 square now for the below one minus 8 by root 2 divided by minus 4 by root 2 square plus minus of 8 root 2 square similarly for this what you have to remember is square root of squares of that column entries don't go to the row don't do it row wise so this is your unit vector av now you found the unit vector av the next time next thing you just multiply that with the diagonal mat uh, matrix which you found the diagonal matrix is what your sigma so av sigma transpose is what this is av right this is av multiply that with sigma transpose multiplication you do it in the same way first row with first column first row with second column second row with first column second row with second column so what did you get av sigma transpose this is what you get you simplify this root 40 divided by root 8 what is 40 8 fives are 40 you do the simplification any doubt you please let me know uh 8 5 8 into 5 8 is root of 8 is nothing but 2 root 2 so it cancels so finally you get this minus 2 root 2 here you get 2 root 2 here you get minus 4 root 2 here you get minus root 2 this is your av sigma transpose again convert this to unit vector similarly just take all the values as it is in the numerator in the denominator take the square root of the values of the columns 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 square plus minus 4 root 2 square here also square root of minus 2 root 2 square plus minus 4 root 2 square here again square root of 2 root 2 square plus minus root 2 square similarly square root of 2 root 2 square plus minus root 2 square when you simplify you get this u this is nothing but your third one so that's all you have done the decomposition this is first the first one this is v this is sigma and this is u this is your third decomposition so finally you have got the decompose svd matrix like this so a is decomposed into u this is u which you just got here this is sigma root 40 0 0 root 2 this is your diagonal matrix and this is your v matrix that's it so that is about svd svd you are decomposing your original matrix into u sigma and v transpose any doubts please write to me in the comment box S some simplifications i have not shown in the video you try it any doubt you ask me i will write to uh, reply you back in the comment box so thank you so much please share the video with your friends and uh, please like share and subscribe thank you so much